Kirikoto. Welcome everybody to the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. My name is Matt Chavez and I'm here with Alex Yenchi. Today we are bringing you the Botany Swarm against the Canterbury Red Devils in NZIHL action here in Christchurch. That uh, should be a good one today. These Red Devils played the Swarm close last weekend, losing in overtime to them, so we should have at least a competitive contest here this afternoon. Yeah, looking good for a, uh, a good contest this afternoon. Uh, a couple of things to go over, of course, in the beginning of the stream here, but uh, we'll get underway. Scoreboard says in about seven, eight minutes or so. So I guess, Alex, I think we officially call this our pregame show. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's a thing now. Yeah, I suppose we're doing it, so it's a thing. Here we are. Um, so we'll start with the uh, unfortunate news, and we'll just get this out of the way while we can. Uh, unfortunately, the mathematics being what they are, the Red Devils have officially been eliminated from the possibility of the third spot. They could win all four games going out here, but uh, they will not get to 16 points, which is uh, where one of the teams will absolutely be at for the third place race. So that's the bummer, but let's talk about uh, the playoff race for the Burgle Cup. The uh, the Stampeder, obviously, way out in front. 13 games played, 13 games won. All in regulation, all in for 39 points, which is ridiculous, and they are clearly the class of the league, and we'll have the number one spot. It's obviously already wrapped up, but uh, the West Auckland Admirals have 19 points, the Swarm with 14, and the Thunder with 12. The, uh, I believe it's, uh, actually, I, I've got the note here. The Swarm play at home against the Thunder next weekend. So if you're up in Auckland and looking for some hockey that really matters, that's a good one, as they'll be duking it out for playoff position. The second and third place teams get through. Uh, so that'll be a good one. And Botany is looking to get as many points out of this weekend as they can as they look to try to wrap up what they would hope for is a uh, second place finish in the league so they, uh, they can be officially home team for the play-in game. So that'll be a, a very important thing for them. And uh, while we're talking about important things, let's talk about an unimportant thing. Um, got an email today, Alex, from the uh, Botany Swarm. This is a good one. Uh, in case you weren't aware, they actually have a contest going on right now. I think it's over on Instagram, but we'll see. Let me read this here. Uh, where's it at? They are looking to, uh, they're running a Name the Mascot competition, which, uh, which ends Thursday the 5th. Looking for name suggestions with the winner being drawn on the 6th. Uh, upper grabs is a family pass, so that'll be good for them. Uh, of course, it's over on Facebook and Instagram. I've already put in my entry. I like my entry. I can't win anyways because I'm ineligible, which is fine. So if anybody wants to use my entry, feel free to jump in there. But I put in Cardi for it's Cardi B. Yeah, it's not bad. You got Barry B. Benson, perhaps? Yeah, it's not bad. Some sort of a buzzy thing, whatever. But anyway, it's not for us to figure it out. It's for you guys to figure it out. So if you're a Botany Swarm fan or... If you uh, don't like the Botany Swarm and you want to give them a really good nickname that's an inside joke or something, either way, I'm sure they'll take it and they're going to pick a, a winner here pretty soon. So uh, make sure you check out Instagram and Facebook uh, for the NZIHL. And a uh, little engagement. It's a good thing. Um, okay, so along with the Swarm, I think we've talked about their next weekend. Next weekend for the Red Devils, if you're not already out here. And by the way, it's packed again. So make sure you get your tickets early. Um, the support here for the Red Devils is just phenomenal, given the fact that they are where they are. This place is filled to the brim with what is like, I, I'm pretty sure this is a sellout, Alex. If it's not, it's really close. Yeah, it looks really full in here. I just zoomed in on that one big old botany flag across from us, but other than that, it looks to be pretty much all red in here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's always that one guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's that one guy. Well, he's here, and there's the guy. So sometimes you have to be that guy. 
Um, there's always the Marlins guy that goes to every sporting event if you've seen him. Yes, I see him all the time. That guy, yeah. So you got to be that guy sometimes. But uh, uh, get your tickets out here. We'll be playing the uh, West Auckland Admirals next weekend. So lots of hockey in the next eight days, four games in fact. So we're going to get our fill of it of the Red Devils. And then there is, of course, the uh, closer in September with Namako. So that'll be for later. But for right now, we're talking about right now. So the Devils obviously have, uh, well, they've got a lot to uh, start figuring out. But, uh, you know, there's been some uh, there's been some good. There's been some scoring changes or uh, scoring improvements, let's say. Uh, they've been scoring a little bit more on the road. Uh, they've also had a pretty tough schedule. Let's just, you know, it's not that the the wins are what they are, but the, this has been a tough draw for them this year, and now they finally get some home ice. So uh, uh, keys to the game, Alex. What do you think as far as uh, if they wanted to have a, a good outcome today against the Swarm, what do you see as a necessity for the Red Devils? I really want to see them strong in their own end, going, getting those control clearances out of their own zone. That has choked them the last couple of times we've been down here. Just the inability to get the puck up ice, string one or two passes together from their own end. If they can get that going today, I think they're in with a good shot. Yep. Uh, and for me, I'll be looking, the, uh, the forwards are always very solid for Botany. Uh, along with the defense, like you said, getting the puck out, the step just before that is to make sure that they don't lose them in coverage. Yeah. Uh, if that happens, then the Red Devils can be very successful today. If the defense tends to, uh, let's just play a, a lighter zone or uh, just kind of floating around chasing a puck and they get themselves caught out of position, it can make for a long day and the swarm will just be all over it. Um, but otherwise, everything kind of leads me to believe this is gonna be a relatively competitive session here and I'm looking forward to uh, to the battle there and also just making sure that the you know the goalies show up and do what they do so that's always an important factor as you might expect so uh, let's see about a minute to go here teams are skating through their practice drills and getting warmed up it's like uh, Tim Carey and goal for uh, the Devils today who do we have over on the other side that is Grace Harrison. So Harrison will be playing goal for the uh, Swarm. Let me just make sure that that uh, carry is the starter, but I do believe that's the case. Um, uh, let's see here. No, it's going to be Niall Fanning, at least according to the... No, 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 that's... Sorry, that's starred. I think they're expecting he may play today but it looks like Tim Carey. We'll, uh, we'll verify that for you as we go. So we'll be uh, right back with you in about 30 seconds for the start of this afternoon's contest. All right, as we come back on air, everybody's lining up and nobody really knows why. Well, we do. And I think uh, one particular Chris Eden's going to find out here very shortly. He looked a little shocked just walking over to the ring here. Yeah. So I imagine you probably can't quite hear Neil here giving the announcement, but uh, what he's announcing this afternoon is a milestone for Chris Eden. 400 points. He's the first New Zealand player to achieve 400 points in the regular season in the NZ IHL. So we'll cut back to him. Thank you. 
Well, Chris will be on the bench. I'm not exactly sure why. I haven't been told he's been injured, but uh, he is on the bench today and deserves it. He's, uh, well, I don't mean he deserves to be on the bench. I mean, he <laughs> deserves his award here, but I'm actually a little surprised. I didn't catch in all of this uh, back and forth about his 400 points and everything. Uh, not sure exactly why he's not on the ice, but uh, what, a, uh, what a benefit he has been to the Red Devils scoring in times of need and in times uh, where we've really needed his effect, especially when younger kids are out there playing alongside him, uh, always looking for the opportunity. So uh, well done, well deserved. And uh, thank you, Chris Eden, for the uh, 400 points. Well done. We are about to get underway here. Looks like it's Niall Fanning starting it on is. the Red Devils yep. end. Yep, so I did see the star on there, so it is Fanning out there against Grace Harrison. No, Harrison's on the bench. No, yeah. Okay, so 32 is Matt Canaday, an import. Well, there you go. Wasn't expecting him either. Oh. So battle of the... Uh, uh, well, I don't want to call them second string goaltenders because they're not really, they're always necessary, but uh, an alternate goalie shootout today, which of course, Alex, that means high scores. Well, not necessarily. We'll see. Perhaps more opportunity. Perhaps more opportunities. Let's see how that goes. All right. So, we reset the game here. We're about to get underway. 0-0 zero, zero is the score, as you might expect, in the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center here in Christchurch, New Zealand. The NZIHL on YouTube. We're about to get underway. The last hockey game of July. Now, while we're waiting, let's give a shout out to our 2021 sponsors. That would be Fisher Hockey, Sign Biz, Majors, Contracting, Spark New Zealand, Cedra Express, and the Southern Trust. Even though that guy with the botany flag is covering up one of the signs, we appreciate you sponsoring us, the Southern Trust. Thank you to all of our sponsors as we get underway here. Puck's about to drop at center ice. Let's see where we go today. Puck back to tap in. And as the Devils try to rotate, Dean Tonks grabs it in the far corner. Puck goes behind Canada's net. And the Swarm worked that out. They pass it through to neutral ice, but turned over. And early line changes. Tap in with it. Taps it forward. Shot in. Fanning pushes it away. And some aggressive back and forth but no real solid possession until it was held in for just a moment. And now back out to neutral ice. As we go back and forth, teams feeling each other out here. And Swarm gets set up for their offensive run. A lot of heavy forechecking by the Devils early on here, Alex. The uh, uh, three up front, and they're doing to uh, the Swarm what usually happens to them. Yeah, not a whole lot doing in the first couple of minutes. Just a lot of aggressive forechecking on both sides. Neither team allowing much to develop. And also not, uh, not holding on to possession either because it just kind of goes back and forth. Fanning with the uh, glove save as it was trickling in. So face off coming. 
Sysho and uh, Atwell take that one. Atwell wins the uh, faceoff. That's back out to Sandoy. Sandoy pushes it forward. That goes into the slot. It's left alone for just a minute, passed around, and ends up behind the net. A lot less pressure than we thought there was going to be. And back out to neutral ice. Good play by Gellner. Bit of a takedown. Sandoy's going to get away with that one. No penalty coming. And that puck's driven away into the uh, corner and then dug out by the Devils. Passed in. Kennedy knocked it aside. Thought it was going to go through the crease, and it never did. Went behind him. And eventually, that means a clearance. Cole with it for a moment and back out. Pass forward. Gain the zone. No icing. No, there, no icing here. And the swarm breakout. Gained the zone, but turned over. And flip back out to neutral. And a shot. And a goal. That's going to count. What a play by Jacob Carey. A leading pass. He gets tripped. What was likely going to be a penalty shot pe uh, trip. And uh, he gets knocked into the uh, goaltender, Kennedy. Uh, nonetheless, he still manages to get the puck behind Kennedy, and that's going to score the uh, first goal for the Devils today. That's terrific work from Jacob Carey there, managing to control that sourced puck to him, taking it in, getting around the defender with his body position, and just sliding it home while getting tripped. Great goal. Absolutely. Class goal. Well done, Mr. Carey. Polisov with it for just a moment, but he loses it, and is knocked around at neutral. Tonk's trying to hold on to it, but goes behind. Tap in around and back behind Canada again. He's going to play it. Bit of forechecking by the Devils. Actually, all five have joined the zone here. And now they back out. Turned over at neutral. Tap in with a uh, quick move to Bull, but uh, that gets turned around. And Tonks collects. Gets away from Palazov. Passes. And the Devils looking to... Get out of their zone. That was a bit messy, but they managed to do it. It does clear the zone. And uh, Lawson gets uh, dumped. Neutral. Low with it. And then turned over. Taylor's got it for a moment for the uh, swarm. And they do get it out, but it's collected again by the Devils going backwards to uh, reset. Oh, and a run off the uh, tap and skate there. That was dangerous. Seen a couple of those bubbles already in the Devils defensive zone. See if they can clean that up. Yeah, and I, I'm not going to, I don't want to harp on this, but the, it has been warm today. I don't think any of this was due to a bouncy puck, but we've got to watch for that later in the uh, periods here. Kennedy gets a funny bounce off a of dasher and the uh, puck doesn't clear, but the Swarm have a hold of it. And they look to get out to neutral. That's deflected for a moment. Bradley Apps, now also with a uh, good shot against Sandoy as he clears the ice. And Kozak goes in. Apparently that was onside. I don't, that was definitely an offside play, but uh, nonetheless, it continued. Kozak with it for just a moment. It's about the third time now already the Devils have been in trouble in their own zone just by not being able to get the puck out. Yeah, and it's never been uh, brought in. It's three uh, unfortunate episodes with the uh, defense. So uh, hopefully they'll clean that up. Pospa still with it at neutral. He's going to take it in on his own one on four. He holds on to it, gets to the point, keeps it in, sends it around. And Reese with it right out in front. Out to Carey again. He's trying to slap it home. Pospisil, same thing. Back out, sent through. That was a good shot. That was a kick save. And Vortinov with a uh, very accurate shot. Knocked aside by Fanning. And that's kept in the... Well, no, it's not. Back out to neutral and a break possibility for the Devils. Big shot by Pospisil and Kennedy takes it right in the guts. 
but gets a good stop and save. That's a big fan of that shift by Pospisil there. First off, he takes it into the zone on a one on four, makes the play to turn back to the point rather than going alone, which he may have done otherwise. Um, starts that four checking play for the Devils and then finishes it off there with a decent shot into the chest of the goalie. Yeah, and they get the face off on this side, so uh, a great shift by Pospisil so far. Shot in, that goes up over Canada. Kolosov takes it behind the net, tries to get out. Looks like it was Graham chasing him there. App skating backwards to play D. He gets a good hit. Fuller with the back, uh, worst end of that, and that came in offsides if that wasn't held in on the blue line, so offsides against the Swarm. Apps has already stood a couple of guys up today. Looks like he wants to get into it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been playing well as of late and uh, really earning the C on his chest. Face off in neutral after the offsides. Devils looking to uh, break out, but it's still five on five. Six minutes into this thing, one goal between them already, which is uh, Jacob Carey's gem. Two on two is the swarm break in, looking for a pass, but instead shot in on Fanning and he gloves it for a quick save and a face off. Fisher Hockey, a 2021 sponsor of the Canterbury Red Devils. Thank you, Fisher Hockey, for your sponsorship. There are a lot of guys that really appreciate it as they hold a lot of those sticks. <laughs> Face off briefly won by the Swarm, but knocked out of the zone. That was uh, Hopkinson with that one, I think. Over to Polozov. Gelling working at it the, uh, from the Devil's End, and that's over to Monk. Monk's gonna hold it for a minute, send it through, and that ends up in the netting, so face off coming. Not sure if that's gonna stay in the zone or not, but uh, not a bad play. And every 10 changes here for uh, both teams. Sign Biz, signage, design, and print. Sign Biz, 2021 sponsor of the Canterbury Red Devils. Thank you, Sign Biz. Face off one by the Devils, passed out to Tap, and Tap and holds on to it, but then loses it. Goes through to uh, Kozak. Kozak comes up, goes to a uh, waiting person in the slot. Shot was fanned on, and uh, another high one, Vortinoff, right in front. The uh, name escaped me. I don't know who that was. I want to say it might have been Chung that missed that shot, but we'll see. Don't have the instant replay right here, so uh, I have to go with the, what's in, the, in between the ears, and it didn't work. But the uh, offensive shot went directly out into the netting. That's why the uh, neutral ice face-off coming. Encroachment again. They've been really watching that this year. The uh, encroachment behind the line's been dropping it. I'm just very uh, particular about it. That pass goes over to Kozak instead of Tappen. And he holds on to it for a little too long. And the Devil's working to try to get it out, but can't. Kozak gets it back. He's passing it through and back to neutral. Tonks with it. Tonks skating around. Pushes the X button on the controller. Gets around and sends it in behind Canada, and that pass is right out in front. Can't, Tonk's trying to get a hold of it, but can't. But he does save it in there. He takes a, a long shot. That actually looked like it was off the uh, face mask. But Canada sent in. That's going to be an icing call as Tappen was there. Icing against the Swarm, so they're going to have to make sure the same five are out on the ice. While the uh, Devils can switch. Dalimore's out uh, with Bull and Apps. Willis and... Who's my number five guy? That is Brown right now. So third line, mostly for the Devils to take this. Kozak doing his best to get on side here. Knock to the side, sent in by Brown. Dalimore sends it behind the net as it was deflected. And the Swarm work it out. They're gonna clear the zone here. Back to neutral. Wartenhoff just smashing it into the corner. Nothing to it, but uh, the Devils work it out. They gain the zone, two on four, deflected away, but a stick lost by one of the Swarm players. 
out in front. Apps couldn't hold on to it, so they have to reset. And they're back on side. And Swarm reset themselves. Commons back out. And he's going to receive the puck at neutral ice. Sent forward. Chased by Monk, but Monk can't get there. Sent around to the sideboards. Swarm doing a good job of holding on to the puck for a little while longer. Taylor gets a hold of it. He gets rubbed off and well, it stays out at the point and they send it right back around. Swarm doing an excellent job. Sandoy doing the same thing. Back and forth we go. Fort not pushing it back through. Smashed into the boards. And finally swung around and it goes out to neutral. Gelding trying to get to it. Some physical presence, but Commons eventually sends it through. Not for icing though. And kicked out to neutral. Good nifty move there by Pospisil. He's looking for Tonks out in the middle. No, nope. goes out to the point, sent through, low shot. Big deflection, but uh, not enough of a deflection for Carib uh, Carey to get to it. Swarm are loving to dump and chase early in this game. They must know the Devils are having troubles in their own end and they're capitalizing well off it. Yeah, they're definitely trying to go back and forth and back and forth and get them uh, uneven, try to get a 4-1 on, uh, on a heavy side and get away with it, get back to center. But uh, it's not worked so far, so that's good news for the Devils. They've been uh, decently positioned. And as the Swarm break out here, three on three, they gain the zone. Polozov with it. He's going to look for the slot. Connects, but doesn't have anything to do with it. Fueler not able to get anything on it. And the Swarm continue the offense. Fanning in a good position there and eventually turned over. Boom, out to neutral. Shot turned over. Canada with a good uh, good save there. That was uh, Hayden Poole with a one on three opportunity. Just took a quick one there. Did you like my Boom Goes the Dynamite reference? It was lovely. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Not quite sure how Hayden Bull was able to uh, grab that puck and go in by himself there. He alleviated a lot of pressure on his own end in doing so, though. Sure did. Sure did. He's going to take the face off. Didn't get that one. And away we go. Two on three for the uh, Swarm. Shot in. Fanning with a stop. And a good one. He was, wasn't quite sure, but uh, Kozak took a quick low shot. Good wrister in, but uh, Fanning up for it. And turn right back, right back around for a uh, defensive face-off. Atwell takes that one for the Swarm, but doesn't get it. And the Devils look to break out, and they do. There's a pass up to Dallimore, but Dallimore couldn't connect, and then he's offside, so he's going to have to clear back. Kind of got lost out in front there, but he ends up collecting the puck for a split second. Sandoy with it now. Back behind Canada's net. Sasha so doing a good job of the uh, forechecking here. Pass all the way oh. through. That's three lines and looking good for the uh, Swarm. Gets a shot off. Fanning in a good position as that puck just kind of got away from the uh, swarm there. And um, it was all the way back, three on two, and then passed out in the slot. We're going to get it, keep it in. That was totally just keeping it in. Tap in, knocked around. Back out to neutral. Saisha with it for just a moment. He was uh, knocked off, shoulder check. And the Swarm gets set up. Devils need to find better coverage off the rush. They've been caught shorthanded a couple times in the last minute. That Fueler comes in off sides, and that takes some of the pressure off of the Devils. We're going to have a face off at neutral. Say that again, Alex. The couple of last rush chances that the Swarm have had, they've had the Devils properly um, shorthanded at the back. They had that one chip shot with the man in the loan, and then two on one down the flank is just 
not really acceptable for the Devils to be giving up that sort of chances going forward in this game. Yeah, the uh, fourth player forechecking a little bit too much at this point, maybe. Although thus far it has not worked out for the Swarm, so uh, maybe a calculated risk here. Carry with it up to Pospisil. Pospisil can't hold on to it, but he steals it instead. And that's sent back around. Tonks can't get it. Tonks digs it out, puts it out in front for a moment. That's off Kennedy's stick and as it kind of moved around. Paul is off calling for it. And pretty much the Swarm just in a bit of a mess there, but they do get possession and out to neutral. Hawkinson with it, he's gonna gain the line. Paul is off with a big shot, that is a goal. Oh, wow, that was, that is a hell of a sequence, I'm sorry. So that was a shot, Paul is off. Paul is off, took a shot, it hit the inside of the net. It's going to count, the goal light came on. It's gonna be one to one, that did count. But as the players weren't sure it rung out so quickly, there was a deflection. It took the uh, referee right in the face just after the play. And he took that one uh, in the nose and walked right off the ice. Looks like he's gonna be okay, but uh, that one's gonna sting. Yeah, I hate to see that, especially as the goal's already been scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 1-1 uh, one, one will be the score here, assuming that the, uh, the goal light came on and I have no reason to think that that didn't happen, but uh, yeah, the referee's off the ice, so we're going to be uh, just a couple of minutes here. I don't think he's gonna give up the armband to uh, one of his linesmen quite yet, but uh, a little bit of a delay. They just really not sure. The, uh, the Swarm are all out at center ice thinking it's a goal, and I don't think there's any reason to think not with the light on, but uh, it was a heck of a shot, just to really pull us off with a sniper shot, upper, upper right, or upper left corner to him, right up over uh, Fanning's shoulder. And I think that's where you were uh, going with this. It was a three on two break, once again, numbers, but it finally pays off for the Swarm. Yeah, you can only poke the bear so many times before it has a go at you, and the proverbial bear has had a go at the Devils there. They conceded that one off the rush, like I said. Um, too many men for the Swarm there, not enough of your own guys. Uh, it's a great shot, but it's also a defensive lapse from the Devils end. Yeah, and we can't expect Fanning to save everything in that kind of situation. Polozov's got a heck of a shot, and uh, he hit it right at the uh, perfect height. Didn't quite get the water bottle, but uh, the angle he was in, you don't normally see a puck come out of the net quite so quickly unless it's an excellent shot and catches metal. I'm still waiting a little bit on uh, the referee, uh, getting a quick look, and he is back out. Not sure which one, which referee we have today. I got to admit the uh, looking for the game sheet. And not on it, but he is back out. All is well. And hopefully he's not seeing double. So discussion, Hay and uh, Apps coming over to uh, find out what's going on, but uh, pretty sure what the outcome here is. Yep, goal's gone up on the scoreboard. There it is. So Paul is off with the uh, game tire officially now. Yep, the whistle still works. <laughs> it was probably a little bloodied, honestly. That was a, that was a rough shot to take. Just a deflection right up under the uh, under the visor. And Polozov finally getting his credit by the uh, boys on the bench. Vortanov, Kozak, and crew to uh, come back out for the swarm. Apps and Bull take it and are back out for the Red Devils and the Devils win shot in here. Dallimore with a, a kind of a big wind up, missed it a little bit to his left and Canada gets another chance at it and dives on that one for a uh, save on his side. Uh, Dallimore shot, Alex, what did you think? Was it on target or was it just a uh, kick save that was just for, uh, for show if you will? 
Seemed like it might have been catching the net, but that all came from that big defensive lapse by Thula there, just swatting at the puck and completely missing it, allowing Delimore a free shot. Bull wins, Brown with a shot, long, uh, long one in, but then they get turned over. Brown in a bad spot for that, uh, Vortinov. And uh, all sorts of puck in the crease there, but uh, the Swarm unable to do anything with it. Fanning having a heck of a time out there with his gear and they get reset, but uh, everything's back and in working order. Now the odd man rush against the Devils again. Yeah, you make a good point, Alex. Long pass ahead here to Kozak. He's gonna get it, so no icing. Uh, flips it in front, nothing doing. And the Devils working to get it out of the zone, but can't quite do it. Swarm doing a good job with their offense here. Kozak with a little shot in. A little shoulder charge. Back out to the point, flipped in. Behind the cage. Bills, Kozak, and turned over. Gelny's got it, he's got it at center ice. Pushes through, shot in, deflected off the blocker that went up to the net. And uh, that was a quick counter attack for the uh, Red Devils there with the uh, uh, was that Brown with that shot? No, that was uh, that was Alex Dam taking it straight up the middle, getting a pass and getting a decent shot off of Canada. Uh, that seems to be the MO for the Devils at the moment, that quick counterattack uh, from defending their own end. And it looks like Fanning's hurt down on the Devils' end. Yeah, there, there is currently no goalie out on the ice, so uh, looks like Carey's going to come in. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, that's not good. So Fanning with an injury here. Looks like he, is it a groin pull or something in the legs here or something? Certainly looks lower body of some description. Yeah, we'll, ju we'll just call it lower body and go easy there because it could be a lot of different things. And the way they're pressing on him, it could be a back injury too. So uh, not good, but uh, definitely a change. So Tim Carey out in goal for the Red Devils. Uh, Niall Fanning out. And he's going to, uh, not be the goalie of record as a 1-1 tie at the moment, so we'll see where uh, where this goes. Uh, Tonks and Tappen trying to get a combination on it, Tappen with the puck, and the Devils reset their offense. It goes out to neutralize. Pospisil to Tonks, Tonks takes it up the left, looking for a pass, he fans on it entirely and has to kick it into the boards. And then Tappen holds it in for a moment. Turned over to Pospisil with a good shot, oh. and Tonks nearly knocking it out of the air after a uh, big rebound. Canada trying to do his best to get it out of the crease. Can't, uh, it needs to rely on his defenders. Devils with some good opportunity here. Held in at the point by Tappen. Kicked into the corner. And they're gonna fight this one out for a moment. Sandoy eventually drags it out for the Swarm. <laughs> And the Swarm get out to neutral. Connors with it, he sends it in, and they go back and look for a change as the uh, puck is swept around. And with about five minutes to go, this has been a very competitive and open first period, surprising only uh, one goal each. Paul is off with it, and he's gonna take, oh, he actually had a really quick wrister that kind of went in on, uh, not on Fanning, on Carey, and uh, it was actually sneaky and almost got in. That was really nifty from Polos of the a couple of edge work deeks to go around the back of the net and bring it straight back around. Yeah. Good move, nearly puts the Swarm in the lead. Quality work by the forward for the Swarm. Hopkinson to take for the Swarm. And Polozov gets it off of the face off, shot in and deflected away from Carey, but uh, out to neutral and the uh, Swarm reset. They're, they're good and come back in. And a Ooh, turnover, that's oh, dangerous. that's a terrible turnover right there that uh, ends up uh, Sean Brown with the uh, mishandle, goes right into the crease and Carey saves him there with the uh, press with the glove. Just not clean enough in their own end all game long so far. They need to get the, get the pass out at least. Even if it's not a completely controlled pass, it needs to just get out of their own end. Yeah, out of the zone, definitely. The, uh, They've been fortunate, that puck goes out, nearly hits Fanning on the head. Must not be his day. I don't know what he did. Like, 
he's got some bad karma going on. He must have like, I don't, I don't even want to think what happened there, but he is having a day. Put face off out to the uh, one by the swarm, goes out to the blue line, turned over <laughs> right under Dam the whole time. And uh, eventually that's worked out by, oh, it's turned over. Kozak with a three on two. He's gonna go, not to Atwell, goes the other side to Thuler. Thuler holds on to it and then Dan collects it and sends it out to neutral. Two on three for the Devils. It's brought in and lost. Sideshow with the uh, oh. good effort. And then Kennedy's way out of his net here. That is a yard sailing net down that end. And then flipped up Monk with it and then gets it out to neutral. The Swarm getting away with one there. That's Pospisil doing great work one on four. Back out to neutral, but he did a great job to make sure that that line change wasn't a mess. Sent forward to Tonks. Tonks gains it. Sit forward to Carey. Carey not quite able to redirect it as much as he wanted to. And Canada able to get a glove on it. Huge work again from Pospisil. Just working really hard on that shift, even after he loses the puck at the point, to go back and recollect, feed it to Tonks, and get the chance through again. Yeah, that feed was amazing, but uh, along with that, the hard work makes sure that that... Uh, that line change that they were in didn't go really awry. What a big play by Pospisil. The Devils hold on to possession in their offensive zone. Carry with it. Sent forward. Tonks is going to get a back end wrister and can't get anything on that as it was deflected right after he uh, took the shot. Tap and knocks it across neutral ice. And the Devils work it in behind. Kennedy's cage. Sandoy with it. Sandoy walks it all the way out. And that puck dances on the blue line for a little while and requires a reset by the team in red. That pass was uh, to nobody in particular, and Polozov was there. He's going to gain the zone for the swarm. That's passed into the crease. A dangerous one, and right in front of Carey. Hopkinson a little bit frustrated because he couldn't quite get anything on it as that puck danced and ding-donged around, just spinning around like a, like a, a flicked coin right in the crease. And uh, can't do anything about it. Eventually, Carey can get his glove on it, stopping play and frustrating the, the bees. Uh, six on the ice for the Devils, so apps coming off. All that's squared away. No warning on that one, thankfully, as uh, there was a delay of game penalty last game here for a line change, and that was a, a scary situation for us. And back out to neutral, Gelning with it. He's gonna gain the zone and come in, walking through, goes in, tried to get a shot on Kennedy, and actually kind of, um, he topped it in golf terms. And uh, Canada was able to hold on to it, glove it, and there's a little hi, how are you after this particular play. A meeting of the minds in the goal crease, perhaps. Lots of discussions for people that don't see each other very often, right? Well, they're bringing that one outside. Yeah, that's a little unusual. Uh, so whatever happened there, it was... Uh, Worthy of neutral ice. Pospisil to take for the Devils. He beats Atwell with that face off and that gets knocked in. But uh, no Devils on the forecheck right away. Carey was there for a moment. And now there's the forecheck disrupts the swarm for just a moment, but they're gonna get caught. Vortinov pushing the puck around the uh, swarm and Kozak with it for just a moment. But that's turned over to Carey. Carey's going to flip it out wisely to neutral. That's going to go all the way down, but Sanoya was there, and it was on target, so all sorts of reasons to not have an icing. Tonk skates up to Canada as it's in his glove, and that's going to cause a, a face-off. Mentioned it a little earlier in the period, but we are seeing that puck start to jump around a little more there in the end with only just under two minutes to go here in the first. Yeah, 13, 14 degrees here in uh, Christchurch. So uh, warm ice and condensation. Shot in, Bradley Apps gets that off the faceoff, sends it right into Canada. He sees it the whole way and stops it, but uh, we'll redo that whole faceoff situation. We've had a lot of uh, condensation off the roof 
uh, just dripping and all sorts of things that you'd have in an ice rink for a nice warm spring day, even though we're in the middle of winter. Botany Swarm with the face-off win, but the uh, Red Devils with some excellent forechecking, keeping the puck in the offensive end, and Apps working to keep it out uh, away from the Swarm, but that doesn't work, and eventually a face-off, or a uh, forecheck manages to uh, turn it over, but just temporarily. Brown with it for the Devils in the corner. He's gonna, that was a bit of a dangerous pass out in the slot, but uh, it worked out. Eventually up to Dallimore. Oh. That was knocked off a stick very adeptly. I think that was uh, Bortonoff that got him. That's slung all the way through and no need to even skate all the way back. That's an icing. Yeah, Dallimore not, nearly executed that dangle there. That would have been quite something. That would have been. That was uh, good work so far. It, it, it's interesting. Uh, I'm starting to get less worried about the defensive end. Yeah, there have been some spills, but uh, Botany's just not showing that they're going to pay it off. So uh, jumping that fourth guy right now seems to be a, a wise bargain for the Red Devils. Shot in low, that was a kick save, knocked out and uh, forward for the Swarm. They gained the zone. That's Bortonoff again. Wraparound attempt, wasn't on target, and that's knocked out to neutral. Heavy hit, Carey with a, a solid play. He's gonna earn himself some more ice time the way he's going here. He's gonna get a shot, oh, no he doesn't get a shot, he looked for a pass and that was a uh, stick lifted. And we're back out to neutral as they fight it over, but uh, Carey doing, uh, having some fantastic shifts to uh, start this afternoon. There's a rush two on two for the Devils. Saisho not able to get a shot off, and that's deflected in. Tonks manages to uh, disrupt Wharton off. And they're back on side, and the forecheck wins. Alex Dam going and tracking down the puck for just a moment. And Gelney with the turnover, and well, that's the first period. That one was moving quite nicely. It's uh, pretty odd to have a period end where the uh, Devils are pressing the offense. So I honestly wasn't looking at the clock. That caught me by surprise. So um, yeah, that's a, uh, a very interesting first period of play. Uh, active, very active, but uh, surprisingly, I mean, the big, well, the big story is Niall Fanning goes out. Yeah. And uh, Hopefully he'll be okay, but Tim Carey in the net for the Red Devils for the uh, what seems like it'll be the remainder of the afternoon. Uh, Fanning having himself a lower body injury of some sort. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. I mean, th this is how we would expect the Devils to play. They've been, they've been doing a good job of it. They have some of their uh, normal problems, but they also have had some uh, abnormal conditions with where they've had some pressure and some forechecking in their offensive zone that has uh, it's been effective today. Yeah, it feels like both teams are struggling a little bit in their own end, and it seems to be favoring the Devils a little bit at the moment. Just the way they're a little bit more effective at finding that seam to get the shot off, um, whereas the Swarm haven't been doing that so much to them. So if you're the Red Devils at this point, you kind of want it to keep going as it is. Your chances are probably net positive over the Swarm, and you're looking pretty good, everything considered. You could be tighter in the defense, but then you're trading that off against whatever you're doing in the offensive zone. So if I'm the Devils, I'm just keeping it rolling into period two. Yeah, no changes. I, I don't see any changes coming there. And uh, uh, Canada, if he continues to give up as many rebounds, he's going to run out of luck in some of this, uh, some of this close in play. So, uh, so good things for the Devils, uh, looking good so far. I'm pretty happy with a 1-1 tie. And uh, that's the first intermission coming up here. So uh, we'll jump off to commercials. We'll see you back here in about 10 minutes. The NZIHL on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in just a little bit.
Kia Koto. Welcome back, everybody, to the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. A little off-season Olympics for you. Uh, sorry we couldn't jump on with the audio, but uh, there is a there's a funny thing on YouTube that if it starts catching too much of a recorded, copyrighted broadcast, it'll shut it off the stream. So uh, sorry about that. We uh, wanted to make sure that we didn't get stopped. So uh, very quiet figure skating. Who knew? I didn't know that was happening. Such is life. And uh, for the Red Devils, as they come back out here for the second period, oh, we'll just, uh, you know what, we'll just throw the tribute up one more time. Reminder, uh, thank you, Chris Eden, for the 400 points. I called quite a few of those points, actually. It's kind of scary. Um, not a majority of them, thankfully. That's we're doing this for uh, <laughs> five. Whoa, what was that? What uh, I did? Ref took a tumble, got two steps oh, out of the ice. Oh goodness! You know, there's a lot of people having a lot of bad days today. Yeah, I believe he used to play as a band now. I think that's at how that least, goes. Yeah, something like that. But it, uh, I think they should be a little bit. Um, well, let's just say generous, given the fact that he took that puck to the nose <laughs> earlier too. So. Good old hockey game. Um, but we saved him the embarrassment because I had the uh, still on there and nobody saw it. So That's nobody knows very that he generous actually of you, fell on the ice like that. That would that would be terrible if we actually saw that he fell on the ice. No. All right, enough of that. So it's the second period. This also means, of course, that um, long shifts are involved in the second period. So it's going to be... Uh, key to watch this more so because there were a couple of bench issues over the last two weeks um, something to watch for the Devils and uh, hopefully they've got all that squared away as the season progresses it always tends to uh, those technical penalties and technical issues and delay games and all of that tend to go away but uh, uh, you know if it happens it happens so we'll see uh, Tonks Pospisil out there, second line to start. The um, Swarm looking to get something going. I think they'd like to get it started in here, if I've got that correct on the PA. Thank you. They yeah. sure would. Yeah, yes, they would. And 1-1 one, one the score. So uh, let's make sure that, well, I just said it was 1-1. One, one. Let's make sure it's 1-1. Uh, yes, it is 1-1, one, one. says the scoreboard. So. Want to make sure that was underway, and we are going to be underway. Second period action to start here in Christchurch. Devils with a faceoff win, flipped up and that did stay in. That one stayed in as well. Atwell trying to swat at it, and Vorton off back to Atwell. Atwell takes the uh, zone, does a nifty move to get out in front, and turned over the Devils. Devils moving two on three, trying to skate and gain, and Tonks takes a long one from the blue line, right in on Canada. And he chooses to glove that and stop for a quick face-off. Uh, <clears throat> just a few seconds into this whole thing. And it's quick pace. So uh, here we go with, uh, no, not, not Hay. Uh, who is that? That's going to be Pospisil again. And he wins it, sends it all the way back down. And Carey's got to play that away from Tonks. That's sent to a neutral. Low with it, then Johnson gets a hold, and Tonks takes it back into the corner and resets for the Devils. He sends it around, Sandoy at the point, he holds it in. Shot in, Carey knocks it aside off the pad. Fight in the corner, and hits the net. So face off, going to be on the defensive end. Uh, Hopkinson points at it and says, here it is. Heard the hollering from the Swarm bench there. That's a better start. So they're clearly stoked with their start to the second period here. Yeah. Hopkinson, Bueller, who's number seven for the uh, whited out member of the Botany Swarm? That is Lepanovich. Off we go. Devils with an opportunity as uh, Lowe comes up. And that's knocked aside. Apps can't get to it. So turn around and a pass out to Johnson way out in front. He gets a shot off. Five hole attempt and a carry up to the challenge. Knocks it away. Um, just Johnson slipping in behind. 
uh, unexpectedly, but got behind the defense, and that puck got behind, and just a breakaway opportunity not converted by the Swarm. And we saw that in the first period too, Swarm getting these early chances off the breakaway. They haven't been able to capitalize as much as you probably would expect them to off them. So if you're the Devils, it's honestly probably not the end of the world. And Hopkins with a puck after the faceoff. That's deflected. Going to go for icing here. If it wasn't deflected, Barakowskis. Modest Barakowskis. Yep, the other Barakowskis. If I remember all this, the uh, naming correctly, although he's the only Barakowskis on the roster for the uh, Swarm, so my apologies. And Cole to take the face off against. Uh, that is uh, Seisho in the white grid mask. Swarm hold on to this. They're uh, doing what they can with the uh, puck, but uh, they're paying the price in the corner. Karakowskis pushes it around and goes. That's held in, but not, well, let's see. Devils trying to get it out of the defensive end, but uh, having some trouble. And that's sent low and to the side. Carey lets it by. Sideshow and Dam working together. Solid hit. Devil's working so hard here just to get a clear. Just to clear it, and then uh, and they do. Carey's with it. But that was Daniel Monk with a heavy hit. Pospisil sending it in. Pad save, knocked aside. Dam trying to stay out in front in the crease. Can't do it. He's got to chase low. Gets a hold of the puck. Sends it around. And Jacob Carey tracks down the puck. Holds it in. Hospicil trying to get it across. But can't get it to, all the way to Tonks across ice. So that gets out to neutral. Turned over. Vortinoff with it. Carey in the wrong spot. The wrong time. That's sent into the side netting. He really had Carey on a string there but uh, couldn't hold on to it long enough to get the shot off the other side of the deke and uh, hits the side of the net, net comes off, face off coming. Devils seem to be keeping the same game plan here, but perhaps executing a little worse than the first period, just unable to clear their own end at all by the looks of it in this early going. Personnel sorted out and Swarm with a shot in, Hay with it, and Carey holds on to it. Everybody kind of skates around, make sure everybody's in the right spot. Looks like uh, Atwell took one on the ankle there somewhere. Let's do another face off, huh, shall we? Other side. It's an interesting. Uh, Gave up the, the other side with Kozak, and, uh, and it worked out, holding the puck off that faceoff out to neutral. Game the zone, wristed in, and looks like Tonk's not able to get too much on it, but uh, he continues around, getting a lot of ice time today. And over to Sandoy, Sandoy with it, looking for the outlet pass, but decides to hold on to it himself. Two players close in on him, he gets it ahead, and the Swarm send it in for the line change. Puck forward to neutral. And Devils gain the zone, nearly take out an official in the process. Linesman pinned up on the boards and it's uh, quickly turned over. That goes all the way through, icing coming if it's, uh, and uh, yeah, that was called icing. So we're gonna go all the way to the other side. Uh, a bit fortunate for the Devils because they did, the Swarm did look like they had a player coming in on that, but it uh, didn't look like they'd get there first. It's like they've called an offside rather than icing. Okay, there it is. Alex with a second pair of eyes, keeping the things straight for me. Thankful for that. And the Swarm with a face-off win. They throw it into the corner quick, or hard bounce out into the middle and kept in. Swept around and the Devils get it out to neutral. Turned over, three on two breakout here. Uh, Polozov takes it up the left side. He's skating hard, goes behind the net. Uh, takes a shot anyways. 
a tough angle shot, but uh, he did it anyways. And uh, shot in by Dallimore, I think that was. And Dallimore fires it into the glove, even though he was one on four and manages to get an offensive faceoff coming up for the Devils. The Southern Trust funding your community. Southern Trust is a 2021 sponsor of the Canterbury Red Devils. Thank you to the Southern Trust for your support. Face off coming, Sideshow with it. And that's hit that to the point. Flipped up off the glass. Wristed back. Canada looking for it and couldn't really get an eye for it until it went to the other side. And that cycled through by the swarm, but then held in by Hopkins, then turned over. And out to neutral. Flipped forward. And a solid hit. Mac Rewiri with a uh, just excellent play on this shift. I uh, haven't called his name yet, but uh, having a, a, a blistering few minutes here. And Rewiri's off the uh, ice just that quickly, but a. Uh, an, an injection of energy for the Swarm. And as the uh, Red Devils get line changes out on the ice, the Swarm were a bit ahead of it, but they couldn't do anything with it. And that puck's knocked behind Carey's net. The Devils a little confused and can't get it out again. Shot in, quick wrister in front of Carey, only a couple meters out. And as the uh, Swarm player skates into Carey, Everybody holds on just to make sure nobody gets hurt. That was, uh, was that Polozov or was that Bortinov? It was uh, an off. Number eight. Bortinov, yep. So Bortinov with the uh, the charge in there, just trying to get a, a good shot off, carry up the task, but uh, a scary turnover for the Devils. They get away with another one, playing with house money today for sure. Swarm capitalized nicely off the long change there, catching the Devils a little short and they're in it. And that face-offs won by the Devils, flipped all the way down. It's going to be on target here for Canada, so no icing. Jacob Carey uh, collects that. Shot in oh and a goal! God. What a shot! That'll be the big man, Dean yes, Tonks. It, it was. Uh, Carey to Tonks. That's only one assist there because that uh, great play by Carey. And then the uh, pass out Tonks with a... Not his fastest shot, but my goodness, that was accurate in uh, caught the corner, and it's 2-1. Red Devils with the lead again, and they paid one off finally. Great shot from Tonks, just right over the arm of the goalie. He couldn't ask for a better placement, linking up nicely, and managing to put the Devils up one here. Yeah, a veteran play. A few minutes play. was the second period. Very veteran play, great score, great effort, and uh, we've got a good one here this afternoon at the Alpine Ice. That's quickly turned over for the Swarm. They're trying to get one back. Uh, that was Hopkinson with a, a good effort, but couldn't get anything on it right at the end. So uh, Carey holds on and face off coming for the Swarm. Yeah, I don't want to say 2-1 is against the run of play, but it kind of was. And, but it was so high quality, you just got to say that's what it should be. So. Uh, so off we go with a uh, one goal lead for the Devils. And that goes out to neutral. Apps trying to chase that down, it gets behind him. Three player four check again for the Devils and it's gonna pay off again. Apps with the, uh, with the puck flipped around and it's behind Canada for a moment. Dallimore tries to chase but that's passed around him. Good solid check by Apps. By Johnson, that's uh, Polozov with it. It gets through the crease, surprisingly. There's a lot of traffic in front, but nobody touched it. Shot in off the side. Over to Polozov. Polozov with a seeing eye shot. That really came close. Nobody saw it, but it just it looked like it rung off the uh, corner of the uh, goal. And then another shot right out in front because of the defensive mess. And uh, nothing too harmful on that. Carey with a stop and the goal put back on the mount. They let that plate go even though it was off, but uh, it wasn't off by much. Second chances like that are gonna kill the Devils if they keep allowing that. That was Pogles on all alone in the slot with all the time in the world to shoot. Lucky for the Devils, Carey made a save. Yeah, and luckily he didn't get much on that because a veteran like himself uh, would be, uh, he'll probably be 
upset that he didn't get a better shot off. It's collected by Daniel Monk, and they throw that out to uh, center. Bueller gives up the puck as a uh, shot came his way. Gelding with it. He's going to take a long shot. That actually at the side netting. Got excited there for a moment, but that's not a goal. That's the uh, outside of the net. Slightly off and a four on three opportunity. Cole with it up the left side. He's going to have to chase it down. He'll get there first. He can't really do anything with it. And then he gets it back, tries a uh, backdoor wrister. Can't do anything with that. That's bouncing around in the crease and eventually gobbled up by, it uh, looked like Posca still out there. Sandoy knocks it in from the point, sends it around, but uh, that's collected by the Devils. And they're gonna get it out of their zone the hard way by sending it all the way to Canada. It's on target. Tonks is going to uh, harass everybody. Can't hold on to it behind the net, but he's gonna get to, uh, well, he holds on to the puck. That's huge right. from Tonks. <laughs> he's just playing out of his mind right now. Uh, that goes in, it's offsides, but back in. Tonks was reset, but then it's back out to neutral. Johnson not able to hold it on, hold on to it for the swarm. And Hay throws it forward three lines. Uh, that was given as an icing. It looked close as a deflection, but uh, given as an icing by Hay. So the uh, five swarm players will stay out. Tonks will get himself a, a well-deserved rest after another excellent shift. And uh, Dallimore out there with, uh, well, that's uh, Bull's gonna take the face off here. And Dallimore pushes up. And again, there's a, a bit more of a four check. A little bit of a stick handling problem with the Devils there, but uh, that's offsides, that's intentional. So they're gonna have to fully clear. And that goes out to neutral and we continue on here. Delamore leads three players up front, so they're just playing a, a very traditional oh. two back in a solid shot driven in, but it was deflected. Pass forward, Dalimore's gonna try to chase that down. He's gonna get close, but not in time, but he prevents any icing issues. And as that's knocked out, All the way back to Brown. Brown's gonna collect it. He's doing much better than he was uh, last time. Had himself a uh, really rough weekend and he's done quite a bit differently this time around and do, uh, played pretty well today so far. Sashoy with it. I said Sashoy, I said Saisho. Saisho, I will get there. My apologies. Sent in, that's a little over the red line and it was right on target to Carey. Carey didn't hold on to that one all that well, so uh, luckily it gets played back out. And looking for some passes. The Devils tapping on the uh, ice, looking for uh, an opportunity. Monk holds on to it. Set forward to Saisho. And some changes for the Devils as it's turned over into the corner. That's sent right back into Pospisil. He's going to go forward on it. Moves up to Tonks. Tonks takes a long shot. That's given up with a rebound. Pospisil is harassed by Atwell right in front of the crease. Seems to take it pretty well, honestly. Uh, but a penalty coming, so there's going to be a slash. Two minutes coming up for... Uh, who's going to go off? Is that, is that Atwell? It's going to go. We'll see. No, they're calling Pospisil with a slash in the offensive zone. I'm a little surprised by that. Yeah, I didn't see it myself. Yeah, I, uh, honestly, I mean, if there was a slash, we'd say there's a slash. I didn't see what it was, but maybe it was when he was trying to get away from the uh, player. So anyway, special teams coming up for the Devils. Two minutes to kill here for uh, the, uh, against the Botany power play. Johnson tries to get that one, but it's won by the Devils. Out to Tonks, Tonks sends it forward. It's up in the air and all the way into the glass on the other side. Kind of whistled right by all the players. I'm quite, I'm actually surprised it didn't hit Fanning in the head the way his day's been going so far. Yeah, he's made it back to the bench now. Just walked down a couple minutes ago, so it's good to see him back out. It is good, indeed. So uh, that 
got clear. There's going to be an opportunity, a breakaway here by Jacob Carey. Carey's getting away, and and a penalty coming either way. So uh, regardless of the fact that um, we're going to see if that's a penalty shot or not. I'm going to hold off on this, but there's definitely a uh, hook by Sandoy. Looks like he's going to the box. Yep. So no matter what happens here, uh, the great play by Carey eliminates the power play for the uh, Swarm. So we're going to go four on four, but I mean, I was a little concerned that there might actually be a power play or a, uh, sorry, a breakaway, but um, no penalty shot coming. We're just going to continue four on four, despite the Devils asking for it. Not coming because there was another player back. Could be hoped for, but uh, not today. And four on four, regular hockey, just a man down each side and more ice available. There's a 34 second difference in a shot. Oh. That was uh, off the glove. I don't think that was on target, but uh, broken stick nonetheless. Uh, and then Thieler with it. They actually don't, oh, there's a fourth player out there. So Thieler takes it up the side, can't get anything on. That's sent out in front. Shot, heavy shot in. Carey's gonna hold on to that. That was um, uh, Lepanovich with a heavy shot from the blue line. It's a, Lepanovich is a big man. And uh, if you're gonna give him a shot from that, I'm actually surprised he didn't walk in just a little bit more, but he took a heavy shot in on Carey. And it was uh, Atwell that busted a stick. So uh, a couple hundred bucks out the, uh, out the window there. Good thing they've got that center ice logo on their jerseys. <laughs> it's a good thing indeed. And the Devils managed to get the face off out. That was Apps, good work by him, pushing it out and having a reset. Hawkinson walks it in. He's gonna shoot and shoot high. I think Lowe actually, uh, no, yeah, that was Josh Lowe that kind of pushed up on it and uh, forced a high shot that ended up going well over Carey and directly into the net. I'm mildly surprised this had to have been a tip somewhere. So I showed a take here. Uh, it had to be a tip in order for it to be in the, uh, the defensive end for that face off. And we're back underway. Opportunity for the swarm that's kind of bouncing up and down behind the cage. And some nifty work to get it out of the zone. Slice show with it. He's going to skate up the right side. Tries to get it around. It was deflected off his stick. Paul is off with it. And carry back out for the Devils to take on Paul is off. He's going to. Oh, a Ooh. solid shot. Just Paul is off leaning back, looking for somebody to pass it to and while he leaned back somebody took his uh, skates away from him so five on four at the moment this is a shortened power play for the Devils it's 34 seconds uh, that's a, a heavy hit and somebody's hurt somebody's down on the ice over here I'm not sure who that is didn't catch the number it's I'm not sure but I don't want to guess So Tonks with it, or Tonks over uh, next to the player that's down. Not sure who it was. Alex, did you um, have any idea? Um, I'm not going to say until no, we don't, know. No, if you're not sure. All right, so uh, Canada is actually coming off for some water, so we're, we're going to give it a couple of minutes here. Never good when you see a player stay down like that. No, it's uh, you know it's uh, some heavy hitting going on out there. That's Pospisil. It is yeah. Pospisil. Yeah, yeah, that's I what I was worried was. about. Yeah. Holding on to his uh, lower extremities there, walking gingerly. Yeah, well, couldn't get off under his own strength. That's awful to see. Yeah, that's it. And uh, not only is it 
tough to see from a personal standpoint to see him in that situation, but uh, this will change the dynamic of the second line out there for the uh, Devils. I don't know how they're, uh, who they're going to promote. Uh, it'll probably be... I mean, they may put... Uh, they may put Bull up there. Because officially, actually officially, Prospisil was the uh, first line today, but uh, they're going to have to shove everybody forward a little bit on this. Uh, Anton Perver will probably see some more ice time if that's the case. I think he's dressed, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Faceoff coming in neutral ice here. It's been a... a Gosh, just a solid hockey game thus far. So uh, it's been entertaining. We'll see how this goes here, but uh, that is a significant injury. Pospisil going down uh, just under eight minutes to go in the second for the Devils. No penalty on the play, of course. Uh, just a uh, incidental uh, hockey action. Sent all the way through. That's going to go for icing. Nope. No, that's, that is waved off. Not sure why they waved it off. Yeah, I'm not either, but uh, Canada's also been pulled. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, during that substitution, that's a, that is highly unusual. So as we continue on, uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Pass through. The crease area is kept in by Fueler, but that ended up hitting the net. They haven't stopped play. And there's, so it might have just been a bad whistle there, but the uh, referee finally stopped it. It did hit the netting in the defensive end for the, the uh, Devils by the Swarm. So that's gonna come out to neutralize. So, and just that quick Harrison is out. Um, hard to tell what that, I mean, Alex, you think that might've been an equipment issue or uh, just had a scratch he couldn't reach or what's going on? I'm not sure. I heard him hollering water during the injury break. So he may have just been going to refill his bottle. Well, one way or the other, he was caught off guard, didn't cause any problems, but uh, <laughs> Grace Harrison with some ice time today. That's the fourth goalie that's been on the ice today. That's uh, it's very unusual for any ice hockey game. And Apps with an excellent backhand to keep the puck in. We'll continue on, an offensive opportunity for the Devils, but right now Sandoy's gonna handle that. Hay not able to handle the pass. Dallimore with it, goes to the crease. Doesn't connect, kept in. Back to Dallimore, he's behind there. And he's got a backhand it. Kept in by Apps. Apps gets it back around Dallimore right in front. Oh, oh what a save that was. And a goal! Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? That was one of the stranger things you'll ever see in a game of hockey. Oh my goodness. If you're watching this video right now on YouTube, you're probably going to have to go and scrub backwards just a little bit and see what just happened because my mind is still a little crook on exactly what happened there. That was Canada standing on a box there, getting his right leg up three feet in the air to get a kick save, which went up in the air. From there, it was deflected forward, and then in a, a deflection that kind of popped over him and then went in the goal anyways. Yeah, it might have gone off a teammate or something because I saw it was Delamore who took the initial shot, leading the charge back to the bench. So, uh, and that was offside. Johnson ahead of the play there for the Swarm, but the, that makes it 3-1. Uh, it just doesn't, I don't even know that that didn't feel like a goal, but yet it was in the back of the net. No, absolutely not, especially after that splayed turtle first save that he made. What an absolutely incredible stop, which then led to the strangest deflection you might ever see. Now you never know what you're gonna see around here, but 3-1 uh, is the score. That's over to Johnson. Johnson's trying to get something on, he never can. And then Carey with it. Wow, that was a good glove save. That got deflected up and he just swiped that right out. So 3-1 uh, the score and Carey with an excellent save keeping the momentum on the Devils' side. Just over five minutes to go here in the second, and uh, a two-goal lead for the Devils, putting a, a, a real scare into the uh, playoff uh, possibilities for the Swarm here. A lot to play for for Botany. The Paul Devils are two goals up in this game, but I'm not sure you could say they're playing straight up better than the Swarm are. No, no, I would agree with that. Paulozov 
eventually lost that. Perver with a long shot, bouncy shot. That's one of those afternoon warm ones that came in like a tennis ball, funny bounces. And uh, luckily for Canada, he kind of just squeezed it at the right time, no rebound and face off. Let's go through the sponsors. Fisher Ice Hockey, Sign Biz, Signage Design and Print, Majors Contracting, Spark New Zealand, Business of Christchurch, Cedra Express, and the Southern Trust. Thank you for your sponsorships. Dean Tonks with a, another good shot. Not quite what they needed, but uh, it worked out. And we're thankful there's a battery in the camera, right? Yeah, yep. that's fortunate. That is fortunate. So. Uh, that went all, all the way back for icing after it was cleared, so we're gonna take a face off here. That's Sideshow with it. Been a great addition to the Red Devils team so far this year. Jacob Carey trying to get a hold of it, but it gets away. And Cole takes it at three on two with some pressure behind him. That's a good pass sent to Carey. Carey can't hold on to it with the glove. Traffic in front, Thuler with it for just a moment, and he's out to neutral ice. Let's turn over, Sleisho's got it from the red line. He's gonna skate forward to the left side this time. He gets it taken away from him. Sent high into Carey. Carey's going to take that out of the sky. Right in front and a goal. Oh, my God. Jacob Carey. Wow. Jacob Carey. Wow. One of the strangest goals you'll ever see, followed by maybe one of the best goals you'll ever see in the NZIHL. That is unbelievable from Jacob Carey. Yeah, Kennedy's got his mask up. He's looking around like, I can't stop that. Look at him. He's just like, I don't know what just happened. But, uh... Yeah, Jacob Carey getting one right just over the blue line, handling it, deking his guy, and just busting it by Canada. 4-1, and that one, that one felt like a goal. That one's certainly a goal, Matt. <laughs> and a three-goal lead for the Devils, further putting the uh, Botany Swarm issues right out in front for everybody to see. Deflection out to neutral ice. Dallimore through and Apps trying to get a hold of it, but that's turned back around. Swarm are gonna get a bit of a man break here. Kozak with it. Can't that shot goes off of a player and Swarm hold on to it. That's right out in the crease. Not cleared. Sandoy with a long shot. Can't do anything with another breakaway. Dallimore is on his own. And that Canada is up to that task. Didn't have a good angle in on that that but uh, some decent defense and great goaltending by Canada there. Good positional work. Held in by Monk for a moment. Monk sends it all the way back behind the cage. A heavy hit there. Apps took somebody. That's uh, deemed legal. Uh, and Sandoy is having his paybacks with it. Monk with a heavy shot right in on Canada. That puck just went right in on the uh, logo of Canada and a uh, little discussion from Vortinov and well, there's some frustrated players out there and uh, <laughs> Mr. Apps is uh, prepared for anything. You can tell he's just looking around like uh, you, you can't be serious now. Yeah, he's got to be feeling himself with the way the Devils have been playing ever since that injury to Pospisil. That seemed to have lit them on fire. They've been playing out of their skin the last few minutes. Yes, absolutely. So a little over three minutes to go. And uh, this, is, this is working out to be quite the hockey game. Pervert to take that. That's, uh, that's who I was expecting to come out here. And he's out at the blue line. And pushes it forward but turns it over. That pass goes awry. Polozov sends it in. Monks to the chase, but Hopkinson's there first. Off the sideboard. Thuler trying to keep it in, but well, let's see. Does he? Yes, he does. Monk to chase against the boards. Does well, keeps it away from Polozov as he taps and chases, but Bueller keeps it in at the blue line, pushes forward, holds on to it. He's knocked over by Perver. 
Follows off with a swinging shot, but it doesn't actually hold on to the puck. He walks it forward, sends it through the crease, and a funny bounce off the dasher, so uh, Lipanovic uh, not able to hold it in. The Swarm continue on their offensive push, though. That's onside to Johnson. Johnson sends a slow one in. Carey deflects it rather than holds it. Now he does hold it after that's passed in just in, inside the crease to stop play and stop the danger. Carey's using his stick a lot more than I normally see him when he's in goal today. He seems to be um, favoring that for rebounds, just sending them into the corners and getting those shallow bounces that seem to be characteristic of this ring. Yeah, I think you're right. The, uh, the number of rebounds is roughly the same. He's giving up 40 to 60% rebounds, but they, uh, they're not ending up in the crease. They're less dangerous right now, so that's a good sign. Shot in from the point. Oh, bit and, of an uh, early whistle for Hubs. Oh, it hit the net, actually. Oh, yeah. So Sandoy deflected into the net, came right back down, and uh, that's gonna be a face-off. In the defensive end, Hortonoff comes back out with his magic orange stick, take the face-off. It's like a Hogwarts Kidditch stick. I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> Swarm with an excellent play. That uh, little spin around nearly got in on Carey, but uh, good position for him and right back out. Sideshow with it, he's gonna gain the line. Sitting right behind the candidate's goal. So I show the work against Kozak. Swarm get it away and clear. Trying to get it up to Atwell, but Atwell didn't see it. Sandoy holds it in, but turns it over. Low with it. Sent forward, that was a taboo, but it didn't clear. Shot in quickly. Hopkinson not able to really do anything. I think he was just more surprised the puck ended up on his stick two meters away. That gets flipped out to neutral, and the Devils get away with one there. Just under a minute to go, Apps is gonna go back out and try to have a good strong shift with Tonks here to finish out the second. Swarm looking to bring it in, all five Devils just sitting on the line, and now that uh, Vortinov takes it in, Thuler with it at the blue line, sends it all the way through. Good shot by Thuler. And there's a penalty coming up. There was uh, somebody dumped over the net. Dumb play by the uh, Red Devils there. Yeah, Fortinov seems to be properly under their skin at this point. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with about three different deals in that shift, culminated in getting that cross-check penalty. So uh, going off the ice is a, um, a suckered in Joshua Lowe. And a hobbled Fortinov on the other side. Well, it looks like he got what he was uh, after, apparently. Uh, a little, looks like a shot on the knee there, like he got dumped into the net. It's typically what happens there, but uh, we'll see. He's hobbling over to the bench. Uh, Lowe is going oh, to- they seem to be sending him, sending him off. Yeah, it means it's gonna be at least 10 minutes, so he's, uh, they'll be putting somebody else out in the box. Somebody's got to serve for him. Two minutes to go, and, uh, despite, it says 33, it's 32.7 seconds to go. And so we've got five on four, but somebody's got to, let's see, the referee's over talking to Canada, so I don't know why. I think I saw Hopkinson signaling four to the Swarm bench there, so he may be seeing four on four. Indeed. So, uh, don't know what that call was for, but Hawkinson goes to sit. And uh, so there's two minutes on the uh, scoreboard against for the, the Devils. Swarm. No, that's the, on the Swarm side. How did that shake out like that? I have no idea. I'm honestly lost. There's five players on the ice for the Devils. There's five players on the ice. So no there's penalty on the cross check. No penalty on the cross check. He raised his arm which means he may have gotten a 10 minute misconduct, but no call uh, for a two minute minor. So it's probably an unsportsmanlike. But honestly, my head's confused on that. So um, we'll just allow the referees to do what the referees do. And that's a pass forward to Gelney. Gelney not able to get a shot off because of some good, Lepon, uh, I keep saying that wrong. 
with Ponovich. I will get that one eventually. That apparently is my name of the week, with Ponovich. And uh, the Swarm just hold on to it to finish off the second period. With the Devils scoring three in the uh, second period and extending to a three goal lead. Uh, a laser shot by Tonks, a crazy shot that was following a uh, ridiculous save. And then a, uh, a world-class goal by Jacob Carey. And uh, lots of things going on here. Uh, players going off and the Devils with a uh, solid three goal lead Alex there's just a lot going on today yeah I agree I think it's perhaps not a perfect period from the Devils but it's hard to complain when your score is three nothing in that period um, you capitalize on the chances that you get you shut it down at your own end and you're up four to one heading into the third period that's by no means a done deal we've seen it happen before at this rink um, the Devils do have troubles in the third period sometimes, but you have to be feeling good based on the position they're in at the moment. Yeah, I would have to agree that if, if you're going to go into a third period, you probably want a three goal lead if yeah. you're going to have something. So, so good to have that. Uh, lost Fanning in the first period, uh, lost Pospisil in the second period, so it's been a costly game thus far for injuries. But uh, as the Devils go through here, they're managing to get goals when the uh, I think maybe the other thing to say here is that the uh, the swarm have been unable to take advantage of their opportunities it, it's not that they haven't had the opportunities they have not converted in that second period and that is why there's a three goal lead more than anything else yeah absolutely I put some of that down to carry in that as well he's been looking really good stronger on the rebound game than he normally looks which I'm a big fan of Yep. But overall, I think it is on the Swarm. They've had really good looks, but they haven't been able to get good shots from those looks for the most part. They haven't really forced them to make those high danger saves that we normally do see him make when he's forced to, but yep. they just haven't been there today. Yeah, and the, the two lasers between Tonks and Carey, it's just I mean, that the quality of offense has been excellent today for the Devils in, in, that re in the shooting respect. So, uh, so lots to look forward to, a very positive outcome thus far. Let's see if uh, for the third period they can bring it home and uh, get a regulation win for the first time this season. So uh, we'll see where we go with this. Uh, we'll go to, we're gonna switch over to commercials. I know there's been some audio issues with the commercials, so if it's, uh, uh, we apologize if it's muted for that and we just run those, but uh, we'll get back to that as soon as we can. And we'll see you in nine minutes for the third period here at the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. The, Ends at IHL on YouTube. We'll see in a little bit.
Kia Kato, welcome back everybody to the Alpine Ice Sports and Entertainment Center. Third period action coming up from Christchurch. The Red Devils on a power play. Up 4-1 against the Botany Swarm. We've got ourselves quite a finish here. Coming up in Christchurch. So underway, that's a trip right away. Uh, Jacob Carey going for a tumble and Commons going off for two minutes. A significantly uh, impactful opening play by Commons. It's gonna give a five on three to the Devils here, Alex, and uh, uh, three goal lead if they can turn it into four, but even if they just tire out some legs, this is a big deal. Yeah, you gotta think that plays in response to Jacob Carey's quite good game so far. He's already scored twice, he's looking really dangerous, so you kind of forced to do something to stop the player. So face off coming uh, five on three. Swarm won that initially. Tappen holds on to it, passes it. Carey passes all the way across the ice. The triangle's set. They've got two on the outside, and Canada pushing everybody out. That's held in. Good work. 51 seconds to go on this five on three. Shot in. That's right off of Canada's ear hole. Deflected, kept in by the Devils. Tappen with it at the line. Pushes it to the side. Walked in by Carey. Carey goes across. Tonks with a shot. Heavy shot in on Canada, but stopped and gloved. So far, uh, the Swarm playing the, uh, they're not playing the triangle, they're playing an invert with the two out and uh, kind of pushing a little bit, and it's working thus far. Yeah, I want to see the Devils defenseman on the power play more engaged rather than just letting Dean Tonks do the work. I think they'll be able to get more out of their two-man advantage if they uh, manage to do that. Agreed. Tappen's been doing good holding it in, but uh, they're going to have to chase this. Well, no, they're not. Now, did that go directly out in the uh, defensive area? That's another question. I think they're discussing it, but just a face-off here. No delay of game. Hopkinson to take the uh, face-off for the Swarm. He wins that. And that's turned over uh, twice. Up off the board and out. Hopkinson with a deflection there, so same thing, but I think this one's coming out to neutral ice. Yep. 21 seconds to go. This uh, The fits and stops are exactly what you want if you're defending a five on three. This is good for the swarm here. Brought into the zone, Dalimore's gonna swing into the corner. And back out, shot in, and a goal! Making it pay off. Was that Carey? Uh, I don't think so. No, it so. wasn't. 93, Bull. that was Bull. I thought for just a moment we had a hat, but uh, nonetheless, it's a goal, and it matters ever so much. 5-1 the score. The Red Devils looking very good on home ice. 13 seconds left on that 5-on-3. That was an ideal time to strike for the Devils. They're going to extend their man advantage, get another minute on the power play. Yep, that, uh, so the uh, goes 5-on-4, wipes the 13 seconds. Minute one. As Alex said, we're gonna continue on a power play for the Devils. And they're going to do their very best to bury the swarm here. Although I've gotta be very careful about that. We'll get to that in just a minute. Sysho with it, passes it back. Tonks gets it out. And back to him as he goes out to neutral. Pass forward. Five on four, looking a little bit more organized for the Swarm. Atwell dumps it in, follows off to Chase. Tonks holds on to it, deflected, but uh, kept by the Devils. Back to Tonks. Tapping. And it comes out to neutral, so they've got a reset. Hopkinson pushing it forward to Polozov. Polozov looking for a twist around. He's got it. Long shot in, deflected, doesn't get to carry. Out. That was to Tim Carey. Jacob Carey with it. Fuehler walks in and uh, has a very dangerous shot in on Carey, the goaltender. And uh, stopped in four seconds to go. The Swarm doing a very good job with the last minute just erasing whatever five on four advantage there was. So uh, uh, I don't want to say a mental lapse. I think it's more they're just exhausted. The uh, Devils putting so much into this. They're 5-1 up. Face off one. 
and that will end the power play. So back to five on five. Swarm with it for just a moment. They hold it in. Sent into the corner. Sent, uh, no, that's Cole, excuse me. Out in front, shot. Kozak couldn't get anything on it. And then eventually Dallimore can grab it just long enough to hit it off the blue marker on the, on the boards and get it out to neutral. Turned over, Bull with it. And knocked forward. Dallimore with a shot, that's too high. Hits the glass and stays in. Puck goes around. Hayes going to hold on to it and get it out of the zone. Changes for everybody here. Well, not really. Perver's going to come out, but that's about it for the Devils. Oh, yeah. And turned over to Atwell deep. Carey's got his eyes on it, but Atwell controls. He flips it back. Knocked around. Commons has got a hold of it. He's going to take a hit. And as the puck kind of just glances around, eventually there's going to be a call here. No, that's not a call. The goal mount uh, is off the mooring, and that's going to stop play. Which for the Devils, unfortunately, I think that's going to be a uh, defensive end face-off, if I can guess by the lineman. So what I was going to say earlier was uh, a very distinct memory of it being 6-2 to two, uh, against one team from Queenstown, the uh, Sky City Stampede. And the Devils were rallied or uh, were routed for five goals in a row to lose the lead. Managed to get a seventh one back to tie and then eventually lose it eight to seven. That's going to go all the way down, but no, it is an icing. Okay, so icing against the Devils. Back to the story, as you uh, may or may not have seen. Uh, the Devils were just excited as could be. They were hyped. They, were, they almost felt like they'd won the game at that point. And uh, some of the veterans looked around and said, let's relax, we've got to keep this in order. And a good portion of the Ice Blacks on that Sky City team woke up. And although having a really poor afternoon, rallied and figured out how to win as championship teams do and kept their perfect record in, in place. Far different this time, Alex, as far as the mood on the bench. It's 5-1, and they're not jumping up and down at all. So, um, to me, it just tells me that the, uh, the Devils have a different mentality. This isn't so much an upset. This is a let's carry it through and finish this thing. Jacob Carey with a uh, wrister in on Canada, and he loves it to stop things. Yeah, I feel like a lot of that is by that man who just made that play there, Jacob Carey. He has been a driving force for the Devils, just taking advantage of possession where he can, getting territory in a way that you don't normally see them take advantage of territory and forcing a lot of good chances against for the Swarm. Carey's swing around goes to Winston Lee. And Winston Lee with it right out in front. Tries to get a shot off, eventually does, and but he's going to draw a penalty out of this. And, yep, so we're going to have a hooking call. It took a little while to get that call, but uh, Whitson Lee had kind of a one on two there and was hauled down as he tried to get a shot off. And that's gonna cost two minutes for the Devils. Who is going off? Who's going? Sideshow apparently. As we get some Billy Joel throughout the uh, Alpine Ice speaker system, five on four is the uh, upcoming situation. Devils win that faceoff, sent all the way out. Beautifully held by Thuler, but uh, it was on the other side of the blue line. It's turned into Vortinov. Vortinov turns sideways. And that's turned over and flipped all the way down. Canada is going to play that. Vortinoff's orange stick, I'm, I'm a bit obsessed with this. You can't miss him when he's out there, but uh, I'm waiting for it to do something. Uh, the oh, that's, that's not good. That is, Kozak just took one in the face. Apps hit him. Oh, that call in the guy's over. That, that's, um, that was a lifted stick in right, in the, right under the visor.
I think he's going to be okay. It just hit him really hard in the face. Yeah, you'll get some um, aesthetic damage from that, but hopefully nothing too serious. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it just looked like one of those climbing sticks. Nothing, uh, nothing intentional. It's just it, it was, uh, you are responsible for your stick. And Mr. Apps is going to serve two minutes for that. Five on three. Uh, so from a strategic point of view for the, uh, for the rest of this game, there may not be a better opportunity for the Swarm to get back in this one. They're down four goals, but they have a two-man advantage. They're working in forward. Shot in, right on Carey. Carey's gonna hold on to that one. And it was another heavy shot by Lepanovich. I mean, he, uh, he looking, I mean, frankly, if I was telling him anything, I'd tell Lepanovich to just skate two meters up and then take your shot, because he's got a pretty hefty one, but he keeps taking it from the blue line. Although I'm not here to coach the other team, I'm just saying he's got a heavy shot. I wouldn't want to be facing it if I were Carey if he kept walking that in. Out to Sandoy, Sandoy oh. mishandles it. He had an opportunity, that triangle's really compressed. Carey doing the best he can, but that's flipped through to Vortinoff. Orange stick misses everything, as that was a tough one to get a handle on. Sandoy with it, passes, shot in off Carey. Heavy shot, heavy rebound, but way outside. And they have to reset. That's over to Sandoy out in front. Lipanovich passed it in. He's going to get it back. Sandoy, Lipanovich. And there's that closer shot. It was a bit of a wrister, and it goes high off the glass. 27 seconds to go in the three man, or the uh, five on three, two man advantage. Atwell walking it around back to Lipanovich. Johnson trying to make a nuisance of himself in front of the goal, but he's just not big enough to do it. He keeps dragging players down with him. Sandoy. That was Atwell taking a big shot there and deflected out in a crafty little backhanded wrister to get it out of the zone. A uh, long shift with a lot of offensive uh, work done by the uh, Swarm, but not paid off. It's still 5-1. Now it's Five on four at the, t at the moment, 15 seconds to go on the power play. Polozov takes it across, gains the zone, and that was a mishandled puck. It's gonna go out to neutral. Six seconds, kicked around. Brown's gonna get a hold of it. He's gonna take a long shot, sends it all the way around. Fueler holds it in, but then he goes out. That's gonna clear the call. Apps is back out, five on five hockey. The Devils survive a five on three for over a minute without giving up a goal. And play continues, that puck drops in for the Swarm. Trying to get it out in front. A lot of traffic right in front of the crease. That's still there, now Carey finally, sees, now it's bounced out. And a shot, and a goal, that was inevitable with as many times as that pinballed around there. For as, uh, for as much as that five on three was important, the Swarm with a goal here, 5-2 the score. And uh, that one was coming for the, uh, for the Swarm. It was just a matter of getting traffic in front and it finally paid off with a deflection. Yeah, it felt like that one was coming with that flow of play. Um, really good job from the Devils to kill those two penalties off, but they weren't able to stabilize afterwards and the Swarm get one back, make this a three goal game with just over 12 minutes to play. So face off at center ice. Swarm going through. Johnson double shifting on the back. Bueller trying to stay on his skates. Everybody for the Swarm a little bit tired here. And that flipped out. That's going to go for icing. Although Jacob Carey is going to do his best to skate down there. It, hybrid icing is going to be pretty clear here. Everybody take a quick breather. Five on the ice for the Devils stay, of course. And we have play coming in uh, at seven and a half minutes in to the third. Devils look maybe looking a little bit too keen to just park it down on their own end at the moment. I'd agree with that. Out to neutral, up to carry, then flipped away. Dan, uh, was that Dan with that shot? No, that was uh, that was Daniel Monk. Excuse me. Atwell with it. He takes a shot in. That's uh, blocked by the pads. 
kicked off from Tonks gets a tries to get a hold of it. Carey tries to steal it back out to neutral. Bull chases it. Bull gets a hold of it. He passes it gently out to neutral, up to Jacob Carey. He goes up the left side, trying the same thing. He gets absolutely clobbered, no call there. A shot just over the uh, crossbar, out to neutral, and back and forth we go. Action on both ends. Big slap shot coming in. That was deflected, lifted stick. Didn't get anything on it, and goes to the side. And just like that, Apps comes up the left side. It gets knocked away, and Six for the Six swing. on the ice, that's gonna be a penalty. Yep, good catch, Alex. The uh, penalty coming for the uh, Swarm bench. And it is obvious when you look at it, there's six of them out there. So, yep, that's too many white jerseys. That's just too many. So uh, math's not a strong suit, so we'll reduce it down from the five that are out there now to four. Wariwi is uh, going to serve this one, and that is a big bench mistake by the Swarm this late in the year. Uh, but miscommunications happen, and two minutes are going to go on the clock for the Red Devils power play. You have that to think that's extremely unfortunate given the state of the game as well. They were looking a lot more positive in the attempt at a comeback here, and to take that penalty is really inopportune for them. Commons pushing up on the forecheck. I I'm pretty sure he'd be uh, okay with a shorthanded attempt. And that's up to Thuler. Thuler's going to gain the line. There's actually going to be a three on four here. Shot on. And an offensive opportunity by Thuler. The, uh, uh, been a pretty good one for being down a man here uh, with a minute 32 to go on the power play for the Swarm. So, Alex, uh, they're on pace. I hate to say it, but they're on pace. They are on pace for it, Matt. Um, as I just said, they were looking positive before the penalty. They continue to have that positive outlook after the penalty. Just aggressive, attacking, pushing the Devils where they don't seem to want to be pushed. That's flipped up out to neutral. It's going to skate all the way through. That's not an icing call. Carey's going to collect it. Obviously, there's no icing on a penalty situation uh, or power play situation. So Hopkinson's trying to dance with it coming out and a penalty coming up here we're going to see what this is all about there's a trip coming but i don't know who it's against that was uh, something that happened behind the net uh sandoy's yeah, there go. goes sandoy well that's a uh, very fortunate they gotta move they gotta move this around here so that uh five on three is the situation you think if the Devils can bury one here, that might be Oshiro. 73 seconds of five on three time here. It just, between the bench penalty and this one, uh, I don't want to say that, I mean, it's a mental problem on that. It's just a mistake. Not that you can avoid it sometimes, but uh, the Swarm doing their very best to keep this competitive. And the Devils doing just a little bit more. Look at that four check. Even on a five on three, they're right up there in the faces of the Devils. And as that goes through neutral ice, Lepanovic holds on to it. It's killing a lot of time. And remember, there's it's five on three at this point. There are only three swarm players out there, and they're actually getting some offense. That's a fortunate bounce for the Devils going off the linesman so they can retake possession there. Mason Reese getting some time out here, trying to get a hold of that puck, but it's cleared yet again. 10 seconds to go on the five on three. There was gonna be an additional 45 seconds for that trip call where there's a man advantage, but just one. This is exactly the game plan for the Swarm right now. Just kill time, just survive until you can start your attack again. Yeah, or to get a, a counter attack, but yes, they're doing exactly what they need to do. Tonks is gonna hold on to it. Take his time, five on four, shot in. Well, that was a high save. one, yeah. Solid save off the uh, stick, the, the handle of the stick going just up and over. And with all the bounces that have happened today, who knows? So uh, Brown to collect behind Carey. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Passed up to Bull, Bull circles. And we hold in the defense a little bit too long again. And back in the defensive end again. Atwell with a four check. 
solidly killing off the penalty. It is over now. So Canada choosing not to hold on to that puck and stop play, which uh, allows them to go all the way up to Sandoy. Sandoy's kind of alone, and he passes to Hopkinson. Hopkinson can't get anything on it. Carey sees that puck go right onto the uh, post there, so he's just going to hold on to it for safety. Is that not one of the most typical sequences you'll ever see from the Red Devils with a chance to put the game away? They just kind of stall and can't get anything going, allow the other team a chance back into it even when they're down a couple of guys. That does feel like a theme around here, but at the same time, uh, the good part was they did not get a quality offensive opportunity for the Swarm, so that's a that's the positive. But the negative is it was not a uh, not positive play, not trying to put this one away. Nonetheless, they do have a three goal lead. This is not gonna go for icing, or shouldn't have gone for icing. Dam was skating there, and I thought he could have won that race, but uh, Canada gets the request. Icing coming with uh, just over eight minutes to go. A three goal lead, and now they're not on pace. They're, they're no longer on pace. They are a little bit behind. But this is exactly what I'm talking about in terms of the Devils not playing positively. Um, they're just clearing it down the ice, hoping to kill some time. That's not positive play when you're holding the lead. You want to attack. You want to try and get something going for yourself. Yeah, after that fifth goal, nothing's really eventuated. But uh, Perver with it out in front, that got back into the crease. So that's the first dangerous thing we've seen in a while. That was swept in and kept in. And that allowed for a good line change to get out there pretty safely. Behind Carey, sent around. And the Swarm are going to hold on to it for just a second here. Kozak gets a hold of the puck and moves into the corner. He's going to go behind Carey, look for a pass. He can't get it away. Quick circle oh, with Lee. And Seisho with it, and Kennedy with a uh, charging save on that. That's uh, not what I was expecting to see by uh, Kennedy there. Uh, Seisho doing his best to kind of get it out there, but uh, usually it, in a breakaway situation, the, the last thing you see is a goalie taking a, a few steps forward like that. It's almost a superhero dive out. Yeah, it was a little, I mean, you want to you want to get in a good position, but not that far out. That was, that was closing it down like a soccer goalie or football goalie, I guess. I'm gonna get in trouble for saying soccer, I'm sure, but that's okay. Bradley Apps taking the puck and, well, everybody's a little down. I don't think Apps is right. He's taking a moment to get back up. He is leaving his stick behind. Oh, he found it. No, he found it. There it is. I was afraid it was broken, actually, but uh, it turns out it's not. It was a good hit. He's uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps a little ticked off. Yeah, a little repayment there, and he comes off the ice with a change. Dam on. Dallimore to Dam. Dam's going to get the line. He's going to take a shot in. And gloved, and then a bit of a push, shoving a... Alex Dam into the goal post there. Was that Sandoy or was it? Uh, either way, the uh, troublemaker has come off the ice. I think it was Sandoy in that case. But uh, everybody else, it's funny, while Sandoy's sitting there getting water on the bench, he's the one that caused all the trouble. Everybody else is having a good conversation about it over there. Yeah, you feel as though this might have a chance to boil over if this game stays a little distant. If the Swarm can't close it up, this might start to boil over and get a little hairy here in the closing stages. I would agree with that. Uh, it could get messy, but the uh, again, the Swarm are the ones that are, well, they're solidly in third place, but the uh, Thunder can easily catch them. So this does mean a lot to the uh, Swarm to get some points here and they don't want to be behind the eight ball tomorrow either playing the Devils. Breakaway here for just a moment. Oh, what a move. Vortinov, oh, what oh, a goal. that's call. unbelievable. I'm gonna just, yep, that was, that was an individual play of, uh, wow, I just don't even know. That was, that was some of the best individual play to just get around, get a shot off. And uh, that was, uh, Polozov saving the Botany Swarm's chances this afternoon. The way he threw on the brakes that quickly and that effectively to send the Red Devils defender flying was something to behold. That was 
We've had a, a few really good goals here this, this afternoon. Yes, for for a strange, strangely uh, non-defensive as this has been, it's kind of worked out just fine. But when people score around here, my goodness, these guys are just individual skill of high level today. Horton off, taking a shot. That's deflected off, tap and stick goes out to the net. So, so let's talk about it, it's 5-3. I mean, I feel like this is sports talk radio here in between. We're gonna, oh, everything's, the sky's falling. It's not falling, but it is a two goal lead. And with that kind of play, it does bring the swarm back in to a, a very, uh, a good chance as long as they're offensive without being silly about it. So a one on three opportunity here with a carry taking it in, his stick was lifted and the swarm gets set. It'll put the Swarm back on pace, as you like ah, to say. Back on pace, that's right. They're, they're closing it down. So uh, two goals, and they're going to need another one here to make it interesting within the next couple of minutes. Borton off with uh, the magic orange stick. It's lifted and sent in. Uh, Saisho with a, a shot on goal just to get the line change through. Turned over and the swarm moving through. Thuler with uh, some good pace, but he stops strangely looking for a pass and a shot. You know who that was, Lepanovich, with a uh, heavy outside shot. Uh, not the best angle for him there, but uh, carry up to the task and continue on. 5 3, five and a half minutes to go here. Was it? Good seam he found for the pass there, giving Lepanovic a chance to put him within one. Yeah. There's a, t there's a requested timeout. Or is that a time? No. So they're. Well, let's see what's going on here. We just one, two, three, four, five. So they just had too many on the ice. And as they cleared that out, no penalty. And the Swarm get a hold of it at neutral ice. There's a bit of uh, confusion with the Red Devils bench and who who's on whose line given the uh, injuries here. So we'll see how that pans out. And Lowe takes it out to neutral for himself, one on three. That's turned over, oh well, no, it's uh, Bradley Apps got a hold of it, but Hay got under his stick, so that puck goes up and into the uh, netting. And uh, as the walls take a beating here by the bench for the Botany Swarm, we continue on 5-3 to score. It's a good one this afternoon. Thanks for joining us here at the NZIHL on YouTube. Fortinoff passes cross ice, picked up by Thuler. He doesn't, he gets it rejected basically. That's gonna go for icing. So uh, we're gonna come all the way down. Just under five minutes to go here. Two goal lead. So they, uh, as long as the Swarm continue to put this kind of pressure on, I can only tell you the uh, Red Devils desperately need a goal and change the uh, perspective of this game, but they need to have a good op offensive opportunity here. Long pass attempted, Monk not able to hit, and it comes right back at him. Some good defensive. Physical play, that's sent in, far corner, and passed out to neutral ice. Healer with it, Swarm move out, and then move right back in. And they've gained the zone, shot in, off, away from Carey, but on the glass. That goes out to neutral again. Carey with it, and he passes it. Swung in, funny bounce off there. Kennedy's gotta take a hold of it. He's gonna glove it there, and as a player comes in, that's going to stop play. The Southern Trust, funding your community. Thank you to the Southern Trust for sponsoring the Canterbury Red Devils in 2021. We appreciate it. SciShow so to take the face off for the Devils. Tonks out on the point, and he's going to get the puck after the face off. That was deflected on the way in. Rister backhand shot didn't quite get in. It's turned over, Sandoy's got it. The Swarm trying to get something set up. Hay not having the best of days, holding on to the puck. That's all the way back to him again, he missed it. Carey's going to be the four check. But the other four Devils stay back. And it's turned over, tapping with it for just a moment. 
Saisho gets run into by his own guy. And then it's passed out to center. Tonks doing his best to clear and kill some time and does. Johnson takes it over the line, gets rubbed off the puck immediately, but the puck stays in. Tappan's got to chase it down. He's going to backhand it, and Lowe can't oh, get anything dear. on it. Another non-clearance, but it does get out eventually. And brought right back in, but that was offsides. Didn't quite get in, so no call yet. And continue on, Hawkinson with the puck. Apps chasing him. Dallimore's going to collect that as it was sent forward to nobody in particular. And Dallimore's going to send it for an icing call. So it went past several players, but uh, nobody made an attempt at it, and it was uh, deemed to be icing, so that's gonna come all the way down. They just iced it, but I'm liking what I'm seeing more from the Devils now. A lot more in the neutral zone, positive play while I'm trying to close out this game. Yeah, it's definitely taking some of the opportunity time away from the Swarm here, who uh, not really had a good opportunity in the last three minutes. Not since the goal, really. Low with it, he's gonna take it to the red line. And takes it all the way to the goal line, holds on to it. Struggles, shot right in front. Gallimore not able to do anything. There's a penalty coming up. Let's see how this goes. Uh, slash being called. I'm gonna guess that's against the Swarm, but I don't know. Is it Sandoy again? I just don't know, I didn't see it. Yep. There he goes. There he goes. Sando into the box. Not the best afternoon for him, but uh, not the worst either. Just uh, had to take one there. That's one of those situations where you're okay taking a slash because you've given up position and a shot right in front. It may have saved the goal there. You never know. Now, Matt, hand me out on this one. Okay. Two minutes, 29 to play. Two minutes, a penalty. Less if you score. Do you not score if you're the Devils here and play a possession game instead? Oh, I'd like to see a goal, but uh, on the other side, you, you're going to be facing a, uh, a non-icing five-on-five five shortly if they pull uh, Canada shortly. But given the size of this rink, it probably won't happen that quickly. So Jacob Carey with it, he's going to take that across neutral. He gains the zone, doesn't look for Gelney, takes a shot anyways. It's going to come out to tap, and tap and pushes it right back in. Out in front and the swarm clear. You're absolutely right about that. It, they're not gonna tie this game until they get the uh, fourth goal anyways. So they've gotta get something going here very quickly if you're the swarm and you've got 28 seconds where you're not a man down from the rest of the afternoon. So that really was a strategically uh, tough penalty. You're absolutely right. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna uh, take the, the L on that one and, give that strategy question right to you on that. That was a, a very good call. You kind of just sit here and you think there's plenty of time, there's plenty of time. There wasn't plenty of time. There isn't plenty of time. So uh, the swarm continue on that. Hay was offsides there. He took the shot. He didn't know it. Nothing on it. That was offsides. So uh, that's going to come outside. <laughs> the bench wants to take uh, unsportsmanlike like for that shot after the whistle, but there's nothing to that one. No, nothing at all, but the uh, I think they're just enjoying the fact that they're winning, honestly. Can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. No regulation wins this season as of yet. This would be the first one. This would be their first three-pointer, yep. So 5-3 the score, 90 seconds to go. And the Red Devils continue on the power play. Low with it. That's in on Canada. And that was a big swing right at Dan. That go. was, Atwell took, and that was a punch. That's going to be an interesting review of video there. Atwell took a swing with his stick, and the blade came straight up. Uh, that's not dangerous play. I'm not sure what is. Uh, and he was fully in control of the stick at the time. So I'm sure the uh, league will be looking at this part of the uh, video very closely, but uh, that's decisions for them to make, not us announcers. So we continue on here. Uh, no call either. We're going to stay five on four. So 
as it says a minute 18 on the clock, that's accurate. 50 seconds to go on the power play. Tonks and Tappen and Gellner out there with Saisho at the circle. Eventually that's taken by the uh, swarm after the Red Devils faceoff win. It's turned over right in front. Gellner with a shot, that's deflected off a stick. Good defensive work, but the uh, Swarm running out of time very quickly here. Gelney with a good four check. And there's one minute to go in this, af uh, this afternoon's regulation contest. Swarm pass it forward, looking for the extra player to get out on the ice. That's offside, so they're gonna have to wait on this. Devils will be happy to wait. Nope, they go straight away. That, I think that yeah. is a big mistake. That is a big mistake, yep. There's nobody pressuring them, no, no reason to leave. Uh, five seconds to go on the power play. And that wipes it out. We're at 28 seconds. Saisho with a puck. He's going to break out three on two. All they need to do is kill some time here. Carey's going to hold on to it. He sends it in on Canada. That puck goes into the corner. The Swarm have uh, very little time left, and yeah. I think they've uh, conceded 12 seconds. They've run out of time here. The Devils are going to win their first game in regulation. And there it is. Five seconds. And they're gonna do it. The long, oh, oh that, that almost went in. <laughs> that pass almost went in. Uh, despite everything they've tried to do, they still won. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that feels good. The uh, first regulation win for the Devils. Uh, three points taken a, uh, for the uh, Botany Swarm coming down here and not getting three points on the afternoon is, I think, even a bigger loss than the win is for the Devils. That, uh, that really hurts their playoff chances. The Thunder are going to be uh, thrilled with the Devils in this case. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little surprised. that uh, They did kind of park the bus in the third, but it didn't. Uh, once again, it was the, the, the finishing of the uh, Botany Swarm not really up to the task today. Uh, without that finishing, they were not getting punished for the mistakes that they were making. And um, three goals is all they could muster today. That's a, uh, that's a big surprise. Now, uh, needs to be said, we, the uh, Red Devils are without uh, Pospisil. They are yep. without Fanning. Fanning was uh, injured in the first period, Pospisil in the second. We'll uh, be very interested to hear uh, what the result is on that and whether they'll be able to play. But uh, Fanning is out on the uh, ice to take handshakes, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, this is a, it's a big win. It's a big momentum builder. I, I almost feel bad about saying that the uh, playoffs are out of reach because uh, that's win one of four. Yep. So the Auckland clubs have to come into town and, and actually do it. And uh, they haven't been able to today. So an impressive win by the Devils. Uh, nothing of, please don't take offense at this, but it was an, un an unimpressive effort offensively by the Swarm. We'll see if they can get that sorted out tomorrow. And it made for a very entertaining afternoon. And uh, the Devils pull it off, double their season points to six and uh, get themselves up off the deck after uh, what was a very tough road schedule. Uh, it's all home games from here on out, so uh, so that's a good thing for everybody. Yeah, I agree. Not an oil painting by any means from the <laughs> Devils side, or quite frankly from the Swarm. Um, pretty scrappy hockey game here this afternoon, but those are often a lot of fun. Um, Devils pulling through in the end there, but like you said, it is a, a Peric victory, losing two players in the process of winning, especially Pospisil. That's gonna be a huge loss if he's out tomorrow and going forward in the season. But yeah, solid performance from the Devils this afternoon. Jacob Carey, two goals. Um, the other carry in net also came up big. Two classic big contributors this season for the Devils coming up big to secure them their first regulation win of 2021. Absolutely. Uh, so before we leave, uh, we're gonna, there was a little bit that I needed to add to this. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, basically, well, let's just say it's over on Instagram. There's a bit of a, of a contest going on. 
Uh, I don't have the details right in front of me at the moment, but if you're still with us on the broadcast, make sure you check out Facebook and Instagram. There's a, a league-wide uh, situation, but the, there's also another hockey game on. If you're uh, if you're looking for some more hockey, Dunedin's playing right now, so uh, make sure you jump over there and check out their stream. But we really appreciate you uh, this afternoon joining us here at the Alpine Ice in Christchurch. So, final score, Botany Swarm three, the Canterbury Red Devils five. We got a win, Alex, we got a win. We got that. We got there. So uh, we're gonna end the broadcast now. We're, uh, we're gonna see you at the same time tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you're coming out to the rink in person. If you're not, make sure you get the tickets soon because it's gonna sell out. And uh, we're also playing here next weekend as well. Make sure you get your tickets for that one, and, uh, and we'll see you out here at the Alpine Ice. Uh, for Matt Chavez and Alex Genchi, we are out of here. We'll see you tomorrow at about 4.30. Take care, everybody.